Today I'm showing you Major Laser Light It Up Remix. So let's go. Go into your keyboard and set your tempo to 108 beats per minute. Click on the plus and add about 30 sections. You want to choose Classics and Electric Marimba. Turn off this one, have the sustain and the release at the top, the resonance at the left and a cutoff like this. Go into the edit mode, put out something, go out, zoom in and drag it out to 5 and go in again. A ladies pattern, around C3. And also some bass notes below C2. Like this. You want to switch this back, click on the screen, mark them all, click on the green ones and copy. And paste at 3. But you want to remove some of the notes. Like this. Then you want to switch this back, hold your finger on the screen. Mark these three and drag them down to here. And also drag them out. And now it will sound like. You also want to add a keyboard and choose other and brass ensemble. You want to click on this one, drag the river to the middle and add a little bit of echo. Go into the edit mode, put out something, go out, drag it out to 3 and go in again. A ladies pattern, around C3. Like this. And you want to loop this. But you want to remove it to 5. And at 5 you want to add a keyboard. Choose Classics and Electric Marimba again. Turn off this one. And have a resonance at the top. Click on this one. Add full treble. And remove the bass. Go into the edit mode. Put out something. Go out. Drag it out to 7 and go in again. And put up these notes. And also some higher notes. Around C4. Like this. And you want to copy this three times so you get four clips. And the last clip you want to go into, you want to hold your finger, drag down and mark these ones and drag them down so that they match with the others. And you want to have this on a little bit lower volume. And you also want to add a bass. Go into the edit mode. Put out something. Drag it out to 7. And go in again. And put out these notes. And this is below C2. You want to copy this three times, so you get four clips, go into the last one, mark these two, and drag them down, like this. You want to go into the track view, you want to copy the first bass, and paste it two times, and you want to copy the first keyboard, and paste it four times. So now you are at 21, 
but you want to remove it to 20. And at 13, you want to add a drum, and you want to choose house drum machine, go into the edit mode, and put out the highest kick. Loop this, and have this on the highest volume. But you want to remove it to 17. And at 13, you want to go into the track view, you want to click on your brass ensemble, and on duplicate, you want to go into it, click on this one, and drag the treble to the left. Go into the edit mode, put out something, go out, zoom in and drag it out to 15 and go in again. And ladies pattern, around C3. Like this, switch this back, click on the screen, mark them all, click on the green ones, copy, and paste two times. And then add these notes. Like this. You want to have this on a little bit lower volume, and you want to loop this but you want to remove it to between 20 and 21. And at 17, you want to add a drum, choose deep tech, go into the edit mode, and lay snares like this. You want to have this on a little bit lower volume, and you want to loop this, but remove it to between 20 and 21. And add another drum, and choose house drum machine, go into the edit mode, and lay snares like this. Have the volume in the middle and loop this and you want to remove it to between 20 and 21 but then you want to zoom in and drag it out so you get one more snare. And you want to go into the track view and at 21 you want to add the kick and drag it out to 28 Add a brass from the beginning, put it at 21, but drag it out to 29. And you want to double click on it, choose settings, and click on the plus on octave. And on your last house drum machine, you want to go into the edit mode and edit this pattern. Like this. And loop this to 28. And at 21, you also want to add a keyboard, choose bass, next page, and exoplanet. You want to have the, the K like this, the harmonic like this, and a cutoff pointing like that. Click on this one, add a tiny bit of reverb, and a full treble. Go into the edit mode, put out something, go out. Zoom in and drag it out to 23 and go in again. And ladies pattern. And you want to loop this to 28. And at 28 you want to go into the edit mode and put out this note. And all these bass notes are below C2. And at 25, you want to add a drum. You want to have a house drum machine and go into the edit mode and put up this one. And loop this to 28. But you want to have this on a lower volume. And you also want to go into the track view at 25 because you want to add the chords. And paste it two times and remove it to 28. And at 29, the verse starts over again. And this is how it sounds like with melody.
And that's about it, so thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and good luck with your song. Today I'm showing you Sia Sheep Thrills, so let's go.